All right, we are just kicking off Stampede here, and we're at the Western Oasis, uh, grabbing some time with maybe one of the busiest women in Calgary over the last few weeks. Jennifer Booth, Jennifer, it's been a crazy time for you guys down here. Yeah, it's been a lot of work, but we are ready for Stampede 101. You are ready for it. Give me an idea, or can you even put into words what you guys have been through with the flooding situation and getting prepped for this year's Stampede? Yeah, well, some of people have been saying it's almost like a, a race to the start line. Right. So it was emotional at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. It was devastating. And just being a, a native Calgarian, it was just, how are we going to do this? But the, the positive attitude and spirit of Calgarians, of all of our employees, of everybody saying, how can we help? Let's get this done. That's how we did it. And people offering to help, it was phenomenal. I understand, I heard this, you can tell me if it's true or not, that you guys had so many people volunteer and everything that you actually at one point said, okay, we're good for volunteers, go help out other areas of the community. Yeah, well, our own volunteers were saying, how can we help, how can we help? And we needed specialized people who have uh, specialization in trades and whatnot right. to you know, do the, the heavy duty lifting and right. pumping water and uh, restoration and stuff. So we told all of our volunteers like, sorry, you can't come on park, please go help the community. Right, and people did that in mm -hmm. droves, obviously, they went and yeah. did that. But you guys also have managed to do a, what seemed to be an insurmountable amount of work in the time given. Where do things stand now in terms of the grounds? We are good to go. Everything has been cleaned up, pumped out, restored, uh, disinfected, sanitized. <laughs> so air quality tested, everything. We are, are, are ready to put on Stampede 101. Uh, there are some slight changes. Okay. As you know, the Saddle Dome is right. not ready for Stampede or our concerts. So those concerts have been postponed. Okay. And uh, the agriculture events that were scheduled to be in the Saddle Dome mm -hmm. have been, uh, schedules have been adjusted. Okay. Uh, two have unfortunately been canceled. Okay. The vintage tractor pull and the cutting horse competition. Right. But the other ones you'll still be able to see in various parts of our agriculture area. Okay, has anything been moved off the Stampede grounds that was set to be on the Stampede grounds? There was one agricultural okay. event. Okay, and that's it. That's pretty good. So now when we talk about uh, the midway and all that kind of stuff and what people are used to seeing when they walk through those gates, that's all going to be the same? All the same. The lower level of the big four is not functional. Okay. Uh, so the range will not be down there, but Super Dogs and Stampede Slots will still be upstairs uh, in full effect. Holy smokes. I don't know how you guys did it. <laughs> Jen, uh, if, if there's one word you can use to describe kind of what you've seen in this transformation over the last little while? What I'll use two words. Okay. Calgary spirit. Calgary yeah, spirit. That's what the stampede is all about and we want to show the world our Calgary spirit because that's what we're known for. Now in terms of ticket sales and attendance, all that kind of stuff, what do you guys expect to see in terms of numbers this year? We're hoping that uh, we're going to have great numbers like we did last year. Um, ticket sales have been very positive so they're tracking above 2011. Okay a little slightly below 2012, but 2012 was a very unique year. Right. Okay, so if people do still want to get tickets and all that kind of stuff, where's the best place for them to do that? CalgarySTampede.com. CalgarySTampede.com. Jennifer, thanks so much for making time to do this. You might be able to get in a nap. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> Jennifer Booth here. We're at the Western Oasis. Come down and check it out. Great opportunity to relax a little bit, maybe spend some time by the wine bar. We're going to be back with more Cowboys Casino Saddle Up on Shaw TV right after this.